Hello ladies, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well on this gorgeous day. And if you come on live, say hello when you're coming on. And if you're watching the replay, say hello, put in the comments below that you've watched. Um, you watched my live. And uh, yeah. I'm just seeing who's... So, how are you doing? I want to talk to you about magnesium in my video today. And if you're joining my videos for the first time and you don't know who I am, I'm Andrea, I'm a women's health coach and I specialise in helping women in perimenopause and menopause, helping you to understand your symptoms and creating solutions and help and healing for your symptoms so you can go on to create a healthy life. Uh, so yeah, magnesium. And it's just a wonderful mineral. Um, it's one of my favorite minerals. It's one of the macro minerals. Now, your macro minerals are um, sodium, potassium, cal calcium, and magnesium. They're the four main minerals. And minerals are so important in your, in your life. A lot of people, they, they focus on the vitamin side of things and you know that they don't seem to forget a little bit about what minerals do for the body. They like switch everything on in your body and they're really important. And I think a lot of the minerals nowadays in our modern day life, we're lacking in essential minerals um, because of the way that our fruits and vegetables are grown now. I don't think the soils are as mineral rich anymore as they used to be like years and years ago. Um, and so maybe the, um, you know, and. A lot of the fruits and vegetables they're picked before they can ripen fully and and then that that cuts down the mineral content of the fruits and vegetables as well so you notice if a lot of the you see in the bananas in the supermarkets that they're really green um and a lot of the apples then and then the mangoes and things like that they're so hard and they take ages to ripen and and that can affect the mineral content of the fruits and vegetables so magnesium does lots of different I think, processes in your body and, and especially it can con control the other macro minerals, the, your potassium, your sodium and your um, calcium as well. So calcium is a bit of a dumb mineral and it has to be, it has to be shown what, what to do and where to go. So this is where magnesium comes in, they both work together. Calcium constricts your muscles and, and everything in your body. And magnesium is a more of a relaxant, it rela relaxes your muscles. So if you're magnesium deficient, you could have like lots of issues, say uh, maybe PMS, like you're anxious, you're feeling weak, fatigued, because magnesium plays a part with your energy levels and how your ATP is, is produced in your body. ATP is your, you know, your energy source. Um, and it because it plays a part in that so you might have fatigue um, you might have lots of period pains really bad period pains um, it could be magnesium vision um, anxiety depression it affects that um, lots of twitches muscle cramps um, if you have like restless legs um, then you may be magne magnesium deficient as well so if you have a lot of these symptoms then and you can create a lot of these symptoms uh, especially in perimenopause because your body is coping with a bit of stress and nowadays we have more stress in our life than ever before and lots of different stresses and this can rob your body of magnesium as well because the more stress that you have the more stress and your body's experiencing the more that you will lose magnesium as well so it's really beneficial to um, look at foods first and then supplement i think supplement nowadays of magnesium is really essential um, you've got foods like carrots, uh, buckwheat, avocados, peas, sweet potatoes, they uh, contain your magnesium. And also if you're craving like dark chocolate, um, I know the dark chocolate can be the sugar cravings as well, but cacao, you know, cocoa does contain some magnesium as well. Um, so that can help if you eat having some good quality dark chocolate. So I'm looking at symptom, looking at some supplements then, what would you look for in a supplement? Because there are so many different kinds of magnesium, I don't know if you know that, but there are some good magnesiums and bad magnesiums. And so the supplement is really important. You want to look for good quality one that doesn't contain lots of fillers, 
magnesium stearate um, and lots of other different things. You want it to be more um, natural. You don't want it to contain lots of fillers because the quality of that magnesium will be, um, won't be as good. And also you're looking at the absorption of that, of your magnesium as well, um, because you might not be absorbing it very, very well. And you might not be taking enough magnesium. You might be taking magnesium um, as a supplement now, and you might not be taking enough. Um, you would need to take at least 400 milligrams a day, and for some women, more than that. Um, especially if you're if you're suffering with really fatigue and lots of um, issues with PMS and things like that, you may be really deficient. So you maybe need to up your levels a bit more to get your levels back up again in your body. Um, so the magnesium that I want to look at that are really good ones is. Magnesium glycinate is the first one I want to talk about. This is the one that can really help with the anxiousness. Um, this is one of my favourite ones, can help um, to calm you down. Um, it's one of the things that can really help to, to relax and, and with sleep as well, help you to stay asleep at night. Um, and then we've got magnesium malate. Now magnesium malate is great for energy if you're struggling with energy levels. Um, this is another one that I like that you can take. Um, and then you've got magnesium three and eight. Now this is a really new magnesium that's only come about, I've only been reading more about this over the last few years. Now the magnesium three and eight is excellent for brain health, for your brain function, concentration, because um, it can cross the blood brain barrier. So it's very, very good for that. So if you're looking for a magnesium supplement, you could get one that contains all these three magnesiums or some of these magnesiums, so I can take them separately to help with your separate issues. And there's another one that I really love as well, and it's called magnesium chloride. Now, you, this is the one that you get from the sea. This is the one you can get the magnesium chloride flakes, or you can put it on your skin. It's like an, a magnesium oil that goes on your skin. You can buy it already made up. Um, but I like to make my own because it's much cheaper that way because it can be quite expensive when you buy it and you put it on directly onto your skin. Now this is really, really good for people if you're struggling with um, lots of digestive issues and you may not be taking in the magnesium that you're taking in the supplement and enough from your food. Um, so because this is absorbed into your bloodstream really, really effectively and, and it can also help with your stomach acid as well because um, it's called magnesium chloride um, and I like to use this in the morning and in the evening um, as well as my other magnesium supplements that I take um, but what you can do is you look for some really good quality magnesium chloride flakes that you can dissolve in, in, in a cup of water so it's the cup of flakes and a cup of water and you want to make sure that it's clean fresh water and filtered water um, and you just leave it for the magnesium flakes to dissolve in that hot water and then you leave it to cool and then you get a bottle with a spray on it so you can spray it onto your skin. So I just spray it onto my skin, mainly just on my arms or on my legs and it can ca cause a tingling sensation on your skin and that tingling sensation can be a sign that you may be magnesium deficient. Um, and when it dries on your skin, it can be a bit sticky or a bit like salty residue so what you can do is you want to leave it on for at least half an hour for that absorption to take place into your body, into your bloodstream. Um, and then you can wash it off if you don't like that sticky feeling on your skin. Um, I know I sometimes wash it off, but when I put it on my arms, I don't notice it as much as rather than being on my legs. Um, so I hope that's helped you about magnesium and what it does. And I find that, you know, so many people can be deficient in magnesium now. Um, and so I've put, a, I've put a book together about the different types of magnesium. If you want to download that, I'll put the, um, if, you want to, if you want to download the book, let me know in the comments below. Um, put yes, please, that you want the mag magnesium book and explains lots of the different magnesiums. And there's a few recipes in the book as well. Um, so the, one of the ones that I don't really like is the magnesium oxide. Um, I'm not a big fan of the magnesium citrate, but it's not too bad. Um, but those are not very good ones. The, the magnesium oxide is not very good at all. Um, it's not very beneficial for the body. So I would stay away from that one. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want my book and, and I'll, I'll give you the download link. We can, we can download it. 
Um, also magnesium is really, really good for um, protecting your heart health as well. You know, um, so that's very, very good as you're getting older. You want to, to protect your heart. When you lose estrogen, um, you, you're, you're not protected with the estrogen anymore with your bones and your heart health. So magnesium is really excellent, can protect your heart as you're getting older as well. Um, and it just, just helps so much with, with relaxing. It's a, a massive, massive help with anxiety and um, helping to relax and get more sleep. I notice it really benefits me a lot. Um, especially when I'm struggling to get to sleep on a night. Um, in your progesterone phase, you can have some struggles getting to sleep. Um, I know that I do. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions at all, then please ask away. I'm here to help. And thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are in the world watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.